Hello there. In this video, as the title suggests, I want to talk about some of my hopes and expectations for the upcoming LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game. So first I'd like to talk about levels that I hope are in the game that weren't in previous games and then also I'd like to talk about some game features and miscellaneous things. I don't know how to exactly title it, but that type of stuff later on. So first we'll talk about levels and I'll go in the order in which the movies are made chronologically. So episode one I hope that we get first off a Gungan battle level. We had that teased in the uh, retake the palace level in episode one for Lego Star Wars 1, 2, I mean Lego Star Wars 1 and Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, but we actually never got to play that battle, we only saw it in the story clip. So I think that it would be pretty nice if we had a level where we got to play as Jar Jar and Captain Tarpole and we got to fight against the uh, battle droids, I think that would be pretty fun. Also, if we had something similar to Jar Jar's um, droid Dika, um part where he was shooting with the droid Dika's, um like blaster attached to him, I think that would be pretty cool. Like we get to build a turret and it's made out of a droid Dika and it just kills battle droids or whatever. I think that would be pretty fun, but I know a lot of people dislike the Gungan, so we probably won't have that, but I believe that would be really cool to have. Another level I would like to have is similar to the Clone Wars and similar to the prologue of the Force Awakens game with Endor, where first we were playing on Endor with Han, Leia, Chewie, and the Ewoks, I believe, and then it switches to um, Darth Vader and Luke versus Palpatine. But um, instead of that, we have it with Padme and Tanaka versus the battle droids on Naboo, and then it switches to Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul. I believe that would be pretty cool because in the movies they emphasize the Padme and um, Tanaka fight a little bit more, but we never really utilized it in the previous LEGO like, Star Wars 1 and Complete Saga game. So, I believe just giving Padme and Tanaka a little bit more screen time in the video games would be pretty cool. And the final thing I would like to see in Episode 1 would be Anakin's Starfighter missions. I know that we had a gold brick level in Complete Saga where we got to fly around as Anakin and another Naboo pilot, but I believe if we had like another level, like the actual level similar to um, the Death Star Trench Run in Episode 4, I believe that would be pretty fun, where we go inside the blockades, um, the Trade Federation blockades, um, what is it, their big central ship, and we got the blow up the inside, similar to the Death Star level at the end of Episode 6, where we just shoot torpedoes inside the middle of the level inside the middle of the giant ship and then it blows up and then we have to escape. I believe that would be pretty cool, but if we get another uh, like gold brick level with Anakin Starfighter, I believe that would be fine as well in my opinion. So moving on from episode one, in episode two I would like to see a extended Zam Wessel fight. I was really happy when I saw that we finally got a Zam Wessel level in Complete Saga even though it was only limited to the, um, what was it, the speeder battles, I think that it would be kind of cooler if they extended it more, where after, like, a little bit of playing around in the speeders, we land in Coruscant, and we have to chase Sam Wessel into a club, and then since she's a changeling, it would be kind of cool if there's one part in the club where we have to um, spot, which is the real Zam Wessel, and they have like four different clones of Zam Wessel, and then you have to pick which one is the real one. Something like that would be kind of cool to play, but I don't know. I just would like to have a ground level similar, like a ship slash ground level similar to Speeder Bike Showdown in Episode 6 
Um, but for the Zam Wazzle battle, so that I think that would be pretty cool. And another thing I'd like to see in the Geonosian, ah, in the Geonosian Coliseum would be the addition of the Akalai, the Reek, and the Nexu, which are the three beasts that um, Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Padme were assigned to. I know that they have a figure for the Akalai and the Reek, but I'm not really sure if they have one for the Nexu in the actual Lego form, but I believe now in 2019 we're able to build all of those um, digitally, so I think it would be pretty cool just to have them in addition. Uh, it will make the Geonosian Coliseum level more exciting. And finally, in episode 3, I would like to see an uh, extended battle against Grievous. I was watching a video uh, a couple months ago where they were saying that in the original Lego Star Wars 1 Grievous battle, they were planning to have a chase scene where we would chase Grievous across the platform. But then it was scrapped. But um, if we had that, where it was like a multi part level, where first part we're in the hangar with Obi Wan, we jump down, Obi Wan and the clone, maybe Cody, and then we fight against droids, his magma guards, and then we have to cut down Grievous's other two arms, and then we finally chase him on the Boga and Grievous on his speeder bike. And then that transitions from the bike chase into um, Grievous's platform where we ultimately defeat him. I believe that would be pretty fun, especially since the newer LEGO games have typically longer levels and there's uh, multiple parts where there's save points. So I believe that would be pretty fun to have and very exciting. Another thing I would like to see in Episode 3 is Sidious versus Windu and the other Jedi's. Even though all the other Jedi's will die eventually, I think being able to play as maybe Windu and Kit, Fitz, uh, Kit Fisto versus um, Palpatine would be pretty fun. Another thing I would like to see is Sidious versus Yoda. I know in arcade mode and Complete Saga we actually got to play on the Senate's um, little spinny thingies in Coruscant, but we never actually implemented that in any of the levels, so if they were able to add that, I believe that would be pretty fun as well. And another, um, they could also make that similar to the Darth Vader level at the end of Episode 3, where you play as Sidious and Yoda, and you fight against each other. That would be pretty fun. And another thing I would love to see is uh, extended Mustafar battle between Obi-Wan and Anakin. I love the level that they made for us in um, Complete Saga and Lego Star Wars 1, but I believe if they kind of kept toward, kept it similar to the movies where first you start outside of the um, Mustafar base and then you go inside and then you cut down the thing that makes all the lava rise and whatever. Then we fought on some of the pillars. And then finally we fight on the droid and the lava platform while it's moving. And then there's the high ground scene. I believe that would be really fun. Especially since the LEGO games nowadays are typically longer and have multiple parts to them. So I would love to see that. And then finally in episode 3. I know that LEGO or TT Games probably won't do something dark, but I would be pretty cool to see uh, Anakin in the Jedi Temple, similar to the Episode 3 games where you get to fight the Jedis, and you have the 501st, um, I believe, the yeah, the 501st Clone Troopers with you, and you get to um, fight the Jedis, I believe that would be pretty fun. And also a uh, Mustafar level where Anakin gets to fight the Separatists. I believe that also would be pretty fun, but since those are both very dark moments in um, Revenge of the Sith, I don't believe we'll actually see that. Even though they did show when Anakin killed Shop T in the end of the fourth level of, no, the fifth level of um, Revenge of the Sith, but I don't 
believe we'll get something like that, but it would be really cool to see. And then for episode 4 through 6, I believe that TT Games did a really good job with those levels. I don't think they need to add anything. Similar to um, Force Awakens, I didn't really play through all of Force Awakens, but from what I've played through and what I remember, I believe they did a really great job uh, with the story. So I don't think there's anything they need to add to that. But for episode 7, I would love to see a ship level at the beginning where you have to play as the bombers and you have to bomb the one first order ship. I don't remember what it's called. And you have to blow that up. I think that would be cool. As much as I w would love to skip the casino planet, we already should expect that we have a casino planet at level or two just because those were main points of the film. Another thing I would love to see was training on Ray's planet where she trains a little bit in the force and becomes a better Jedi. Another thing I would like to see is Ray and, Ky uh, Ray and Kylo level where he plays both of them and you probably do some force training that to symbolize their little mind um, telekinesis that they were having in the movie. And a lo another thing I'd love to see is playing as Rey and Kylo versus Snoke and his Imperial Guards. I think that was the best part of the movie in my personal opinion, so playing that, reliving that scene in Lego form would be pretty cool. Another thing I'd like to play is playing as Finn, BB-8, and Rose versus the Stormtroopers and the One Traitor Dude and Phasma. I think that would be cool. And the final thing I would expect is the ice planet where the First Order comes and we play at the, as the Resistance and um, a Kylo versus Luke fight. Hopefully um, they'll make that fight cool. And finally in episode 9 I'm just expecting that we have a one or two ship battles since um, the new sequels are similar to the old sequels so I believe this will follow the same format as Return of the Jedi where they bring a new Death Star or whatever and then the Resistance has to blow it up but maybe they'll surprise me but I am expecting a ship level or two and of course a lightsaber battle hopefully one or two no hopefully two but if it's just one and they just make the level fun I think that's good enough and then finally let's finally switch over to game mechanics and features that I would like to see in the upcoming Skywalker Saga game so hopefully like the trailer suggested that they are moving from grunts from voice acting oh, well they're moving back to grunts so if they do that I'll be really happy about that because I'm not really a fan of the voice acting in the LEGO games not because it's bad voice acting but it's just really weird for me coming growing up with the old the old G games like LEGO Star Wars 1, 2, Complete Saga, LEGO Batman, LEGO Indiana Jones and um that's another one. I believe those are all the OG ones, but yeah. Um, all of those games where it was always grunts and those grunts and non-vocals with um, words were always funny to me. And then with the um, voice acting, it just made the games kind of weird for me, but still enjoyable. So hopefully they do grunts again. I would love to see Bounty Hunter missions again, uh, those were really fun parts of LEGO Star Wars 2 and Complete Saga for me, so if they bring those back I would love to play those again. I would love to play the arcade mode again that they had in Complete Saga where there was different variations and you can just play against your, um, what is it, your second player and those are always really fun so if they bring those back I'll enjoy it another thing I like to do is the build your own war similar to Clone Wars what they had in the Clone Wars game where you can like build your own um, war scene and customize the level and whatnot 
I would love to do that again. That was really fun to do in Clone Wars. So having that in the Skywalker Saga would be very enjoyable. Another thing I would like are some of the extras that they had in LEGO Star Wars 1, 2, and Complete Saga, such as Extra Toggle, the Bounty Hunter Rockets for Boba and Jango, and then Force Scrapple, just because when playing free play, I just like playing as characters that I enjoy, so if I want to play as Vader, I'd rather not switch to a character with a blaster so I can grapple, I'd just rather play as Vader and then just Force Grapple, so if they bring those back, I don't remember if they have them in Force Awakens, but if they don't, but they bring it in this game, I'll be really excited about that. Um, I'd be cool to have some Gold Brick levels or DLC of Rogue One Solo in the Clone Wars, just because this game says that they'll only focus on the nine movies, so I don't believe they'll go into de much depth for the other movies, but playing a DLC level of Rogue One or Solo or the Clone Wars animated series or the one hour uh, long features would be really fun. Um, another thing I like are that they just keep the original scores just because all of the scores are just amazing in Star Wars. And one of the final things I would like to see are that they just keep one hub in the game just because in Force Awakens just the multiple hubs was really confusing for me and I didn't like it too much. And can we just have one central place for purchasing characters again just because I think that's more easier for myself and for many other people than going around searching on different planets to find characters and then you have to do all of this stuff. But yeah, that's my little spiel on the LEGO Star Wars Skywards. Uh, <laughs> that's my whole spiel on the LEGO Star Wars the Skywalker Saga. If you like this video, thanks for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.